So here we made this smart bulb can be known as power saving automatic room light control using Arduino and ultrasonic sensor. By the way, this can be made also by using PIR sensor, but here we prefer two ultrasonic sensor. This emits ultrasonic sound waves and converts reflected sound into an electrical signal. Now we have 5 volt 2 ampere power adapter. This is a simple Arduino Uno board. Now we have 5 volt relay module. It basically allows a relatively low voltage to easily control higher power circuits. Now it's a bulb holder with 220 volt LED bulb. This is 216 lines LCD display. So now here we have a breadboard where 1k ohm resistor, 4.7k ohm resistor and 100 ohm resistor are connected and few male to male jumper wires. So this is our whole Arduino code which we have to upload in Arduino Uno board. Now first we have include a liquid fruition library and ancient lies to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now this is for ultrasonic sensor 1. We have echo pin initialized to A0 and trigger pin initialized to A1. Here ESR and TS1 means echo pin and trigger pin. Now for echo pin in second sensor we have initialized it to A2 and for trigger pin for second sensor we have initialized it to A3. Now we have initialized relay to 8 pin and then initialize distance A equal 0 and distance B equal 0 and then initialize flag 1 equal 0 and flag 2 equal 0 and then person equal 0. This is all we initialize this is int model and this values always be in integer form. Now moving to the second function of void ultra read here we have to read the value of trigger pin and echo pin here for trigger pin low it will give a delay of 2 microsecond and for trigger pin Hi, it will give a delay of 10 microseconds. You can set it accordingly. Now, as we know that the trigger pin emits a 40 kilohertz frequency, which is to be calculated in distance in centimeter, and our echo pin reads the time. Now, moving in the third uh, third loop of word setup. Here we have a LCD begin 16,2. This 16,2 means our LCD has 16 character and 2 line. Now in 0 character and 0 line this will print welcome and with a delay of 1 second. Now in our fourth loop uh, now in our fourth loop we have some conditions if our distance a is less than 50 and flag 1 is 0 then it will initialize flag 1 to 1 and if flag 2 equals 0 person is now person plus 1 now if our distance b is less than 50 and flag 2 is 0 then flag 2 is initialized to 1 and then our person is person minus 1 it means in both case uh, if our distance of a is less than 50 it means then person enters in room and this will count each person who enter after it like if one person enter it show 1 and for second it show 2 but in our second condition, if distance B is less than 50, it means there is no person in our room and then if a person goes out, it will show minus 1. It means, I mean, it is not possible if there is no person, then how can a person go out? So, 
now if our distance a and distance b both are greater than 50 and flag 1 is 1 and flag 2 is 1 then flag 1 initialize to 0 and flag 2 will be initialized to 0 the delay of 100 microsecond now in lcd this will set cursor to 0 character and 0 line and print have person now in lcd print person lcd print here which is 0 character and 1 line this will print this light is now if a person is greater than 0 which will come from this side if a person is greater than 0 then it will turn on the light and otherwise if a person is less than 0 then it will turn off the light and show off so this is our whole programming code which we have to compile and upload in our ordinary Unibo to run our whole system and this is our circuit design from which we can take help easily as you see when I move in then the bulb glows and when I move out then bulbs dim so now let's check what happened if two people enter so one I entered and then my brother entered bulb doesn't off now you can see here it will show that we have person 2 in one room so when both of the person goes out then only bulb will goes off so one is going out and then it will show now the person is one only and then i also comes out then it's, you can see here the bulb get off so this is the whole project you can see so our device can count infinite number of people which comes in the room and it will glow and it turns off only when the last person moves out from the room so this device can be used for different purpose also like uh, in small areas where we don't need light every day and every time like in our bathroom uh, in our staircases in our garages and it can also be used in our normal room uh, where uh, people enters and goes out it just count number of people enter and number of people goes out and accordingly it turns off and on it can easily save a lot of power where sometimes people left bulb glowing uh, and forgot to switch off the light from the main switch so it can help to save more and more electricity and as we know that electricity is a great problem in our rural areas so thank you very much for watching